ABCXYZ analysis is a categorization tool aimed at identifying the best performing products in one's catalog. With this information, one can set appropriate service level and safety stock targets. Unlike ABC analysis that focuses exclusively on one variable, typically revenue, XYZ aims to identify and quantify demand variance. So today, we will answer three simple questions. How is it done? How is it used? And should you use it? Let's get started. We start with a classic ABC analysis. One takes one's data and sorts one's SKUs into the respective ABC categories. Now we've covered this before multiple times in multiple formats, so feel free to review the links in the description below. ABC XYZ analysis, however, aims to identify demand variance for each SKU across the observed period. In other words, were sales for each SKU static or did they fluctuate? If they fluctuated, how intensely? To calculate this, one needs the following. Once we have these details, we can merge the ABC categories, which reflect revenue, with the XYZ ones, which reflect demand variance. Let's look at an example. White T-shirt was a C-class SKU with an average of 320 units sold per month. Now, the actual monthly sales varied, obviously, but this variance was relatively low, 27.5%, meaning sales were mostly stable across the year. For this reason, white t-shirt was a CX skew, as it generated low revenue and low variance. This variance is what the X, Y, and Z classes are designed to express. X class, low variance, Y class, moderate, and Z class, high. A typical ABC XYZ matrix can help management set appropriate service level and safety stock targets. For example, once A grade SKUs would receive the highest level of service, with levels depreciating as one moves along the X axis. For example, one's AX SKUs, which generate high revenue and low variance, would receive higher levels of service than one's CZ SKUs, which generate low revenue and incredibly high variance. With this kind of information, a supply chain practitioner can tweak service levels to reflect each category. And as such, the category is serviced by nine policies instead of only three. So should you use it? Well, as I just said, management has to decide separate policies for each of the nine categories. And that increased bureaucracy is only one of the problems. Let's not forget that the thresholds between these categories are entirely the product of committee. Furthermore, ABC XYZ misses key demand patterns. These patterns include seasonality and rising v falling trends. Here is a chart of the edge cases within our data, link in the description below. The Harry Potter and Tesla t-shirts, red and green line respectively, both finished as BY SKUs and would receive the same service levels. However, this ignores the fact that they are demonstrably trending in opposite directions. ABC XYZ is also unstable in that SKUs can oscillate between categories depending on the given time frame, not to mention that the difference between categories could be vanishingly small. It also has a very one-dimensional understanding of value. Some CZ SKUs, for example, might have a tremendous indirect value in that having them on hand facilitates the sales of B and A grade SKUs. This matrix, therefore, doesn't really capture the overall value of any given SKU. Lastly, ABC XYZ also attempts to apply the concept of moments taken from mathematics, but this application is incomplete. While it's fair to say that mean and variance, the first and second moments, are good tools for analyzing a data set, they are only two of an actually infinite number. At minimum, a robust statistical analysis would also leverage skewness and kurtosis, moments three and four respectively. However, even doing that, would not address the limitations I've just discussed. So, should you use it? ABC XYZ analysis is good for a very surface level glimpse of performance, but really ought to be avoided when it comes to setting policy and demand forecasting. A more viable approach is a prioritized inventory replenishment solution, something that leverages probabilistic forecasts to embrace future uncertainty. This is LOCAD's answer to the questions ABC XYZ tries to solve. 